mobilizers a lot. So if you have to, I don't know how many of you guys have had to slap one of these on first time. Oh, this one's lovely, it's in great shape here. So generally all these braces, they kind of all come slammed together in this one size, but if you've got somebody that is not fitting it correctly, you can rip the whole thing off like that and move it out a little further away from the center upright part because this is the part that you always want to center on the back of the leg and it's got it's got the indentation there that goes behind the knee so when they are putting this on the leg you're putting the the kind of indented part right behind the knee go ahead and come on down there joel let's see how close i am okay and you usually want that rigid upright piece right along the back of the leg so then when you go to close this up, I did this kind of wonky because I changed that one side. So say I was thinking, oh, that doesn't fit quite right. Let me fix this a little bit here, Joel. So we're just gonna readjust here so it's the same. Because especially if you got somebody that's a little, little bit bigger leg, you know, maybe a little larger thigh, it doesn't quite fit right. Or if this ends are driving them crazy, like we've all had patients that have been scratched by the, the Velcro. Joel's so good at lifting his leg here, it's great. <laughs> it's so easy to do. So then when you close this up, sorry, it's a little funky. So when you close this up, you always wanna look at this part in the middle that's kind of cut out. That should be roughly around where the knee is. And oftentimes what you'll see is people move around, it wants to shift down a see little bit. See this cutout part, guys, mm -hmm. she's talking about? Yeah. So then what I usually do when I put it on, I will usually fasten the straps from the center out so that you're stabilizing the knee. And you usually want to get it fairly snug there. So like maybe you can get a finger underneath. If you can't get a finger underneath, it's probably way too tight. And odds are for a lot of our patients, we have incisions like right there. So they're not real fond of that anyway, but you just do the best you can. So from the center out, center, center out. out. Center okay. out is usually the way I do it. All right. So then it's, I mean, it's really nice if the patient can help you on the upper part. They can do the upper straps and you do the lower. <laughs> but you know, not everybody can do that. <laughs> so usually we got three up top and three below. And these braces, they'll come, I think they've got three different sizes, at least three sizes in the storeroom. They've got a little itty bitty size that's about like this, which is pretty rare that you would have somebody small enough that would need just a little one. Cause you wanna have it long enough to where like, say if they had a patella fracture or something, that's a pretty common one to have this for, is that you'd wanna have enough length on the, um, on the immobilizer so that it's not letting the knee bend. So if you got just a little short immobilizer and something his size, it's not gonna work. So generally, you're, you're, if you have to figure out how long to make it, you're roughly measuring, if you think about it, you don't want it to hit way up in the groin. So you're going a little bit lower than the groin down to about where the malalis is here, just measuring that. And then usually I will call the storeroom and say, okay, I got a person with this length of leg. What length of immobilizers do you have? So say you had a 22 inch leg and they have 19 inch immobilizers, that should be fine. That'll give, that'll give enough support, but it gives enough breathing room so it's not going to be driving them crazy. So, these come in three sizes, Betty, or two? I think they, last time I heard it was three different ones. I think it was like a 12, a 19, and a 23 or something like that. Okay. But I think they may have changed a little bit since then. All right. These are the most exciting braces, aren't they?